This is Gabriel Austin, and here's what happened in Mississippi this week. Authorities in Greenville are looking for the person who set fire to Hopewell Baptist Church and spray painted Vote Trump on the side of the building. The FBI has opened a civil rights investigation into the apparent arson on the historically black church. According to Greenville's police chief, they have a person of interest, but they are not naming that person right now. Citizens in Greenville told our Laris and Campbell they were surprised because according to them, hate crimes do not happen in this town. Both Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump's campaign have released statements condemning this after the story attracted national attention. Delta State University joined the other seven public universities in Mississippi in taking down the state flag. The issue was the last public university to fly the flag before replacing it with the Mississippi Economic Council's bicentennial banner. In a press release, University President William LaForge said the university made the decision because the state government has declined to change the flag. LaForge also wrote the flag will be retired to the university archives. The race for a seat on Mississippi Supreme Court between Justice Jim Kitchens and Court of Appeals Judge Kenny Griffiths has become increasingly political. By state law, Supreme Court races are nonpartisan, so candidates aren't allowed to say their party affiliations publicly. But taking a look at both campaign finance reports, some top state Republicans have donated to Griffiths, while Kitchens has been financially supported by many well-known Democratic figures. For more on these stories, be sure to visit MississippiToday.org. And for up-to-the-date stories, be sure to follow us on Twitter and give us a like on Facebook.